Hot 91, your favorite station and home of the talk of the town. Morning show still rocking out in Club 91 with your girl, BB Desire. I told you we had a lot of special guests calling up today, rocking out with us in the club. And I wasn't lying. We already had two pistols. We have another special guest who is my main reason for having all of these lovely people call from Murphy Lee to Keisha Baby to two pistols. This is the man right here in charge of it all. What's up, babe? What's up? What's, What's up? going on with you? I'm good. I'm Go good. ahead and introduce yourself to the Seven Cities. Uh, well, uh, I'm Alandra Pulliam. I am the marketing assistant over at Universal Music Group. I also own my own, I have three companies of my own, AMG, and uh, Young Entrepreneurs Program, Lander Talent, and Artist Manage. Basically, I'm really, you know, working more with the sign artists on their, you know, on their marketing promotions and branding and publicity. Okay, and so being that we are a college station over here in Norfolk State, you're definitely doing what a lot of people here dream of doing. How how did you go about getting to where you are right now? Oh, man, it's kind of hard because I started off as an actor, and that didn't go well, so I went to a couple of seminars, music seminars, and I happened to go to one seminar in Philadelphia where Tone Capone, which is the senior vice president of Universal Motown, was, and I had met him, and we kind of talked, and like a month after talking to him, you know, he had, you know, got me for an internship, you know, as an intern. I was an intern and R at that time, and then I later on, you know, a and R wasn't for me, so, you know, they gave me the marketing, you know, that's why I were or, you know, but I always wanted to be an A&R, but like I said, I ended up with the marketing job, and now it's paying off. I'm glad I, I'm glad I am doing what I am doing, so. Definitely. Okay, so as marketing, it describes to everybody exactly what it is that you are responsible for on a day-to-day basis. I am responsible for actually creating a, a, a market for every artist that owns Universal as far as their product, as far as finding out the new the new ways people buy by the albums and by the singles you know I kind of do I'm the person to do the research I kind of do the research on figuring out where should we put the where should we put the album at where should we promote more where should we advertise you know so I mean that's basically what I do okay and you said you have a few different companies go ahead and break down to us um, your companies, uh, what you guys are about, what you guys stand for, what you guys do. Well, Atlanta Music Group is a record label. We have a, actually have a distribution deal with Universal and Distribution. We basically that you know it's just it's just an independent label. You know we just have a major distribution deal with Universal. Atlanta Talent and Artist Management, which was my first company, is just a management company. We manage artists, actors, models, singers, dancers, comedians, like I said. And with the Young Entrepreneurs Program, it's a program I just launched. It's a nonprofit organization. I just launched that, and it's really for the younger people that you know. I, I kind of feel that you know, kind of you know, you know, I know, you know, some young people have different careers or different things they want to do in life, but they have peer pressure and all type of other stuff holding them back. So. This program, I, I kind of built it to help those that's, you know, young that's trying to, you know, become something because, you know, we are, young people are the future. So I'm trying to make, trying to mold them and shape them into what they need to be and also help, not only help them, but help our economy, you know, by help, getting them the right knowledge and stuff they need to get to the next level. So. Definitely all about helping the kids. If you had to give advice on what needed to be done, what steps needed to be taken, or how to be successful at being in marketing in the industry, what advice would you give? My advice is to uh, continue doing research and make sure you stay up to date and kind of ha- kind of be around the people that's, 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 that's making moves. I, I mean, that's an anything. Like I say, anything you do, I learned that you have to be around the people that's really doing something because you don't learn nothing from somebody in the same boat that you're in. So my advice is just to keep, keep researching and, you know, stay updated. That's the main thing that a lot of people lose is they lose out they don't know how to research and and then when you don't know how to research, you don't know how to be up to date. You got to be up to date with stuff, especially in this industry because it changes. It's tricky. It changes 24-7. So it changes on a daily basis. It definitely does. Any new projects coming? Anything up and coming for you or anything that you're pushing right now? Uh, we've got an up and coming project with Mike Williams. He's, uh, he was a wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. He had his own label called TRW Records. And he has a group called 2Gs that right now that's getting ready to push. They just, they just left off tour Wednesday. Uh, getting ready to, you know, I'm doing the market for it. As you know, as far as getting their records and stuff like that, they got a single that they're pushing called Private Party. That's what we're working with right now. So. Okay, and what's going on with them? You said their name's 2Gs? 2Gs, yeah. Okay, it's a group. Who's in the group? Uh, it's a guy named uh, Young Slid, and the other guy, 
they, they, you know, they call him, they just call him G. Two Jesus, they stand for God's gift. So, okay, what kind of group is it? Is it is a gospel group? Uh, no, <laughs> that would kind of threw me off at first, but it's not. They're not a golf. They're not a gospel group. They are rap. They're, they're on the West Coast. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, you said the name. You know, I thought okay, maybe they're a gospel group. Nothing yeah, wrong with that. I thought though. it was. Go- I thought it was a gospel group myself. <laughs> when I first- <laughs> Nothing wrong with being a gospel group. They, they're not, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm working with a gospel group right now at a uh, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. They call they, the name of their group is called Purpose. They're pretty good. Uh, they, they're working on a couple of records right now. So we're not even, we're not pushing them right now with them. Just trying to get some records recorded. So. Okay. Now I know you're on the other coast. You're on the west coast doing your stuff out there. Is is there any way um, people in Virginia or not even just VA, but over here on this coast can still collab and get with you or hit you up and work with you? Exactly. I mean, of course, of course. I mean, a lot of people. I work with a lot of people all over. I work with people over in Russia, <laughs> Europe, Aruba. So, He's I mean, worldwide. 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 All right. So, are you on Twitter? You MySpace and you Facebook and you got some websites, anything so people can keep up with you? Ooh, I got Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. Uh, I got about three, four websites. <laughs> well, you got to give uh, it to us. You got to give it to us so we can be uh, informed. Okay. I got um, Twitter, www.twitter.com uh, forward slash UMG underscore marketing. That's uh, M A R. K E T I N G. And then um, my Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash Alander. Poyam. You need to spell that A L A N C E R. Poyam. P A S P U L L I A M. My MySpace is www.myspace.com forward slash Alander Music Group. And then I've got a couple websites www.alander musicmanagement.com and uh, www.yepfoundation.org yepfoundation.org you know, for the Young Entrepreneurs Program. So he's definitely just giving you guys some very great information, some very important sites. If you're not familiar, get familiar. He just gave you the website, so hit him up, look him up, learn about what he's talking about. And if you're into marketing, I mean, I hope you, you definitely paid attention because... This is a very informative call and definitely something for you to take and learn from. You know, you said stick around people who are making moves. That's what I'm yeah. trying to do. I'm trying to make some moves. So I'm going to keep hanging around people making moves. So yeah, that you got, I can you got to hang around. You got to hang around them. That's I, what I, I'm I, trying I, I thought about it. Tyrese Gibson told me one day, he said, uh, hey, he said, you can tell how you often, you can tell how your career and how your life going to be by the five top people you hang around. You hang around people that don't want nothing and you won't get nothing. You hang around people that want something that's going to rub off on you, you don't want something. Definitely. Something I'm trying to figure out who, who, so who, who's your artist right now? Who are you listening to? If I was in the car with you and we push play on a CD, whose CD's in your car? The road music. <laughs> the road music. Ice cream paint ice job. Ice cream paint job? Ice cream paint job. That's what you rocking to? What else? Anything else? Um, I got a, I got another one. Uh, I was rocking to, uh, I rocked to a lot of Gucci Man music. Uh, Gucci. Uh, yeah, and that's another project I'm working with right now, him and Beethoven. But that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave that one undisclosed, discreet mm. right now. Oh, uh, undiscreet? I want, I, want to, I want to discreet right now. So you going to cut me out? Uh, I, I cut you out. <laughs> <laughs> you cutting me out? You ain't going to tell us? It's major, huh? Sounds major. It's, a, it's a very, very, very major. Uh, it's, a, it's a big project. Stuff like that. So that's what I'm working on right now. And you got an artist named Young Thad that they, you know, working with right now in the Atlanta area. So that's that's the big project. And uh, he's pretty, he's growing progressively in that market. So Definitely, uh, definitely. Yeah. When, when, yeah. when we getting you up here? Hot 91, we need you in the building physically. We need you up here with us at the station chilling. When when you coming? When I'm coming to Virginia. Uh, yeah, you call me on the hot spot right there. Yeah, huh? I'll put you on the spot. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> I'm, coming, I'm coming to Virginia. I, I, I won't give it a date around the end of November. Not around Thanksgiving, but somewhere close to December, probably in December, between December 1st and the 13th. Okay, so you're going to be up here soon. Yeah, between December 1st and the 13th, because I have a birthday, my birthday tomorrow, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to celebrate, you know, kind of prepare for that. Aw, happy birthday. I'm going to have to... Uh, Give you a special song. What you want to hear? Any request? It's your it's your song. I would request y'all know Murphy Lee, Mad at Me. If you ain't got it, get it. Murphy Lee, Mad at Me, featuring Day Twenty Six. Okay, that'll be your birthday request. I'll make sure I put that on for you. Yes, that, that, that is that, that's my jam right there. That's my jam. <laughs> and not because he Murphy Lee. <laughs> 
Well, that's what Jay Allen. Uh, we got we working on his we working on his project. We working on we working from Blades with him. We it's, 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 we working from the ground up. So his project looks different. Exactly. Big what up to Murphy Lee. I got him checking in tomorrow. Tomorrow on the show, Murphy Lee is definitely going to be rocking with us, calling up for Club 91. So since, you know, I was going to premiere tomorrow, but you know, since it's your birthday tomorrow, you want to hear it, I'll put it on for you today. Okay. But other than that, I got to thank you for calling up. For kicking it with me, for kicking it with the Seven Cities, it's Club Ninety One. Any what ups you want to get out there? Any shouts? Any last words you want to put out there? Uh, I'm give a, you know give a shout out to my boy uh, Jay Kane uh, from Milwaukee. Give a shout out to my my publis, uh, Shanti Brown, my A and R, uh, Rashard Cooney, and uh, you know I give a shout out to DB Desire. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Hot 91. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're getting back into some good music. Make sure you don't touch that dial. You're still rocking in Club 91. Don't go anywhere. I still have all your requests coming up, and you can still get in on the phone line, 757-823-9110, and rock out with us online, www.hotmeetsy1online.com. Keep it locked. You're with BB Desire in Club 91.